Welcome to the Informatica Cloud, the industry's first enterprise data integration platform as a service. Today, we're going to talk about address verification and correction with Informatica Cloud Services. The first step is to assess and verify the quality of our data in Salesforce. We can do that with one of the Informatica Cloud Services called Data Assessment Service. The second step would be to create an integration task that actually corrects those addresses using live data from Address Doctor which is an online address verification service. Um, and then, of course, we're going to update um, the cleansed and repaired address data um, from Address Doctor back into Salesforce, all on the same task. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're going to start off with is uh, let's go into our Salesforce um, and take a look. We have a few different accounts here. I only have about five, so we can work with this data. Um, you know, we have an invalid state, for example, um, on a fake company, but we have some... Uh, you know, real company information too. So essentially this is what you would have in your database um, based on uh, different companies giving you right or wrong data and you want to correct it and try to get the right number, the right uh, address to copy. So the first thing we're going to do is go into our Informatica cloud. So we were in the sales cloud, now we're going to do a single sign on right into our Informatica cloud. Um, and we'll go ahead and get started. So you start off with a quick setup uh, right here in Informatica cloud if you want to do an integration task. Now what we're going to do is uh, jump right into our data quality assessment. And so what I did was I went ahead and ran the data quality assessment task um, to update where we are with our current data set. So essentially, this is neat because over a time period, you can see, over time, you can see that uh, data gets better or worse as you integrate. So I actually run this every day. Um, and it's by four different categories. Completeness is stuff filled in. Conformance, do these things actually conform um, to the right field, is it really phone number, is it really an address, or really a state. Address validation, right, so I'm about 20% right now, so address validation is, are these real addresses that the post office can deliver to? And then of course, uh, duplicates, right? So essentially what we can do is uh, we also have a list of what happened. Okay. All right, so we can drill into uh, different records that have an invalid billing address. Um, and it allows us to quickly uh, fetch, fetch data and get that file to make it available to us to take that same data that has been identified as invalid in the data system tool, um, validate it through Address Doctor, and then put it back in the Salesforce. All right, so let's go ahead and do just that. So what we're going to do is make a data synchronization task that does exactly that. Um, we're going to make a new data synchronization task here. Uh, the first thing we want to do is give it a name. Address Doctor Correct, correct Account Data. All right, and we're going to pick an operation. Let's do upsert uh, to make sure we don't add any new duplicates in there. We can match it by ID. Um, so let's go ahead and pick our source. So our source is going to be um, where we save that address uh, valid or invalid file. Um, it was that DQ account daily billing addresses. So here's three of them based on our initial data set that were actually considered invalid. So we have the same company or different company, same address. So some of this is made of data. Does it's not complete? Um, so what we want to do is run this through the address doctor to correct it, if it can, tell us how well it corrected it, um, and then give us a nice status update. So we're going to take that data from our, uh, from our data assessment, and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to put it right back into Salesforce. And so what I can do is I can pick um, my Salesforce connection, and then I can pick from all the different objects in the sales cloud. Right, so here I can pick uh, account as my target object. All right, and these are, remember this is the, the data I started off with, and we have a few of them that we determined already have inbound addresses. All right, so uh, moving through our wizard uh, data filter, we're gonna get all of them, so we're gonna ignore that. We're gonna go right to the field mapping, and this is where we add some of the magic, so we're gonna add this custom function called address doctor. And what this does is actually allow us to input, so the input of the custom function is that address information from our data assessment file, and then the output, custom function target is going to come from on the left side, the output is the address doctor output into the Salesforce account, right? And we're going to update it back by our external ID. Let's go ahead and do our mapping. So source to custom function is pretty simple. Let's take uh, the external ID, map it over to our record ID, and then the rest of our stuff. We got name, for example. Let's see, we got city. All right, and this is just a matter of drag and drop to drag this stuff around. This is what makes the Informatica Cloud so powerful, is it's so easy to use that it simplifies integration to the nth degree. 
So let me take uh, state. All right, so if I had additional fields I wanted to pass through, I could do that as well. But that's what I'll have there to pass into my address doctor validation and correction service. Now, what comes out of there is the corrected addresses. So these are the O outputs. So now I can map them over to Salesforce. So our first thing I want to do is take my uh, ID and pass it over that I'm going to upsert by. Now the rest of this is still drag and drop. Uh, for example, I can take my name and I drag it over here. Uh, then we had city, we can drag it to billing city. Postal code, going postal code, All right? So I'm almost done and this is going really fast. So state, street, and that's all I got. All right, so now there's a couple more fields that I made in Salesforce. Um, and so what we do with these fields is that there's a couple things. One's called the validation status. And I'll show you this in a minute. So this is essentially, um, was it already valid address? Did it get corrected? Um, was it unknown? Um, whatever. And then you can have a percentage of how, you know, based on that status, what exactly did it end up being? All right, now I matched these. These are just additional uh, status codes. You don't have to map them, but I did. Um, and that's all we have to do for our custom function and target. Now, you remember, we're walking right through this wizard, right? So now we've taken that assessment data that data assessment said was bad. Um, we ran it through a custom function. Uh, we could schedule it, but we're simply going to go ahead and run it right now. So let's go ahead and run this guy. And what it's going to do is it's kind of based on the, the data that we assess was or determined was bad with the data assessment service. We're actually going to take that data and we're going to um, correct it, right? Get the correction from Address Doctor and then correct it in Salesforce, right? And really, you can have any system on either end. It doesn't really matter. Uh, that's the power of the Informatica Cloud. Um, but we chose Salesforce because it's uh, you know, popular and easy to use. All right, so we're done. So we actually had three success rows, which is matches to our three records in our file. So let's go back into Salesforce um, and let's take a look uh, back into our Sales Cloud. All right, let's go and do our accounts. All right, and now we have these three files we want to work with. So remember it was AA, now it's NJ. I mean, if I drill in here, we can see that this was actually modified just recently. Um, at the same time as my clock here, 205. Um, we have our new validation statuses, and we said, well, this was corrected, C, and it has a validation percentage of 83. Right, and so it actually corrected this data and brought it back together better. All right, so now uh, once we've done that, uh, the next step what we can do is we can actually take a look. I actually made a report here that takes this into consideration called the validation pod. Um, and what you can see is I only had a few records, but I had these three that were corrected, right, and these two that weren't touched. So the neat thing is, in addition to the overall status of your data quality, of your different addresses, you can also see which ones have been corrected, which ones are already valid, uh, which ones are different statuses as well. And this is another example of the power of the Informatica Cloud Platform. Uh, for more information, you can get started with a 30-day free trial at www.informaticacloud.com. Thank you very much. Have a good day.